start teaching how to pass a tube because when I do a physical examination of a, a small bird, a cockatoo, any bird, um, on a live bird, I want to get samples to look under the microscope. And also, I want to, if the bird is very sick, as soon as I've got those samples, I want to get special food into the, and medicine into the bird quickly. And I want to get a lot in very quickly. So my first step is to notice how I'm holding the bird here. Notice where my fingers are here. Have a look. So I then bring the crop tube, the crop needle. It comes in. I, I, I'm right-handed. That's my strong hand. This is my holding hand. So I bring the crop tube in from that side, from the bird's left side. The the throat, the esophagus, comes down the bird's right side, down this side. And the windpipe is down slightly to the left. So I want to go down the esophagus, not down the windpipe. So I come across from the left. At the end of the tube, this part comes across this side, and then it goes down. <coughs> when I am getting the getting the birds in position to put the crop tube, I hold here and I make changes there and then hold the head back. But I'm making changes here, not there. So never press in here. You kill your bird, you suffocate your bird very quickly here. So it is on the side of the jaw. Either side of the door, there or there, or there. And so we're just starting to show I have to get the end of the tube over the tongue. Over the, the back of the tongue. So it goes across the tongue to the bird's right side, to this side. And then, as soon as I get it over the tongue, We straighten, start lining the crop tube with the thing. So this is in that process. Before I put the tube in, I always line it up and see, because I have short tubes, I have long tubes, and I just grab the first one that will fit. And some tubes are longer than the other, so I want to see how much it goes just to here. Right? Into the crop. If, the bird, if it's a canary, canary doesn't have the crop. But I just take my samples from down here. Canary pinches often oh, don't have crop. But parrots do. So I, I get my sample from the crop wash. So I want to look how far I pass the tube before I pass it. Thank you. OK. Let's see the tube passing down, starting to pass down now. Okay. There it is all the way. So here, usually I have about, for a, a, a budgerigar or parakeet sized bird, I have about half to one mil of sterile water or Hartman solution or lactated ringer solution in here. And then I syringe that in. When I've checked that the tube is in the right place, I feel it. You can feel the tube passing down under your thumb, under on the edge here. But I like to check that I can feel the tube and I can feel the windpipe separately. I feel crop tube here, I feel windpipe here. If I can feel both, I know it's not down the windpipe. 